everyone welcome to this video today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple rimmed shirt and all you need for this tutorial is yourself and your designing software and it's actually easier than you might think at least in my opinion but I've been designing for almost like six months but even if you're a beginner I am the, <laughs> my goal is for this to be as easy to follow as possible. So, we'll just get right into it. What you're going to do first, we're just going to draw the shape of our um, shirt. So, I'm just going to just get whatever color you want and do whatever you normally do to make your shirt. Alright, so I'm done with the base of my shirt. Now on to the fun part, shading. So I'm going to create a layer above that. And this is actually much easier than you may think. And it comes even easier with practice. So um, let me show you how I did that. So we're going to double click on our layer. And we're going to set the blend mode to multiply. Then make sure you have the same color as your shirt selected, and then we are going to put lines, actually no, 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 I don't want to put it there. Eh, uh, okay. So I'm putting, uh, it do I don't know, I don't really think it matters how like how thick you make these lines or how far you space them apart but if you want to follow me exactly I am doing my lines just one pixel wide and I typically put them two pixels apart and yeah because that's how I think it looks best as, but if you find something that works better for you, then you do that. So, what you want to do, just fill in the entire shirt with these lines as I'm doing. So, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because otherwise this video would be super long and boring since I'm super slow. Alright, so now my whole shirt is filled with stripes. Make sure you do the sleeves too because sometimes I forget that. Um, we do need to delete this so just go to the layer with the base of the shirt and so use uh, this magic wand and to select the transparent part and go back here and just delete just like that you don't gotta be picky about this because we'll deal with it later so now on to the part that some people might not get but with practice it is pretty easy so now on the layer with our lines, we're going to go to effects, blurs, I don't know how to pronounce that. We're just going to, two is the best setting for this on the Gaussian blur. I, I don't know. Gaussian, Gaussian, I don't know. Someone help me. Anyway, um... Yeah, one doesn't work, two works, three, it goes away. So we do two. And as you can see, it's already looking pretty good. Like if you scroll out, it does, it is looking pretty good. But you know what? It can be better. So what we're going to do now, um, if you're done with that, just put it merge it to the base layer this is what you got now if you want if the shading is a little too subtle we can go 
and we can get some more contrast in here but don't put it too much because then it will look iffy. I'll just put it at 20 because that looks decent. Anyway, we could just leave it like that, but no. We'll make a new layer, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some highlights now. So, it's pretty much the same process. Uh, select white as the color. Um, go like, go to the, well it doesn't matter what side you put it on, but for some reason I always put my highlights on the left of my shading. So wherever you see your dark lines, put the white there. And it's the same process. It's the same process as for the shading. You just have to be careful where you put these. Make sure you're putting them in the right place. Or your shirt will end up looking pretty weird. Oops. Alright, so all that's on. And now we're going to blend it just like our shading. Except the thing with this one is that for it to look good... We have to make it very transparent. So you go back to where we set the shading layer to multiply. Just ignore that. Ignore the blend mode part. Uh, make the opacity quite low. Um, I don't know. For now, I'm just going to put it a, a, like a little below halfway. Uh, we can experiment with different things to see what looks best. But for now we'll just blur it again so again I think two works best and yeah as you can see it is looking a bit better with the highlights we can hide this layer to see what it looks like without versus with highlights as you can see it does look quite better it looks just that much more realistic I think and that's what shading is all about, just making it look nice. Uh, so now we have that done, we can just merge it down. And yeah, we, you could just upload your shirt like this if you wanted, but I'm a, a bit picky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effects, object, where is it? Alright, outline. This is a plugin, and I will link the plugin in the description if you want it. But this is this part is completely optional. The shading, the main tutorial is over. I am just adding the finishing touches to our shirt. I would like the outline to be a slightly darker version of that so yeah looking good I think if you are noticing that this isn't quite the same color as what we had before we did the shading like so here's the color I had the whole time so let me just like put that on so that we can compare it's, as you can see, it's not the exact same. So, if you are noticing that your shirt is not the color you want, again, we go uh, up to Adjustments. And this is actually a Paint.net feature. It's not a plugin or anything. It's Hue and Saturation. You can actually just make it, you know, whatever color. Like, if I decide I don't want it to be pink... It isn't too late. I can make it I can make it blue if I want. So but I do want it to be pink cuz you know, we've got that soft girl aesthetic going. Um but yeah, personally this is the color that I want. So, yeah, we just do our thing and yes, I hope this tutorial was useful to you. And I will see you in...
the next video I decide to post. Thanks for watching.